This will be a quick video on something I've run into in the past. And it's basically when you place a countersink or you place another whole wizard hole on some surface it's of course going to sit on that flat surface and not extend out into any areas that are protruding past that face or surface. So there's a few things we can do here. The easiest one is to use the delete face tool and you'll find that in the surfaces tab and it's also one I typically add to my features tab since I use it so frequently. But I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here and just right click and we'll choose the select other option and this will allow me to select that face that we want to get rid of. Now if I go into the delete face tool I have an option called delete and patch and that's just going to extend that out. So it deletes the face and patches it as well as it can. So it removes the face and the patch ends up being what the extension of the countersink would look like. Now this also applies, for example, if we were to grab our hole wizard, let's create another countersink hole, and I'm going to place this on this face, and I can place this just about wherever, but let's say I place it near this flat face, and click OK. Now my countersink is going to be sort of inset underneath this. And so I'd also need to use a delete face to change that countersink. So once again, same thing. If I right click and say select other, I'll get that face. And I can once again use the delete face tool and say delete and patch. Now in this case I might have more than one face that I need deleted. So I'm going to go ahead and create a quick section view on the front plane and then just drag this out so that we can see underneath that ledge. So let's try this one more time. I think this is the same surface I had selected. If we try it, it will fail. So this will happen once in a while when you're working with the delete face tool. So one of the things we can do in this case is actually use some surfaces to actually finish up our countersink here. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and grab this face and we want to make sure we're in the surfaces tab here and we can go ahead and choose the offset surface. And I'll just set this offset to zero. And what that's going to do is just give us a copy of the surface that we can use to create some geometry here. So I'm going to go ahead and hide out this body. And I want to go ahead and just extend or use this extend surface tool. If you had previously selected a solid face, it's going to give you this error. You can just click away here and choose the extend surface. And the distance isn't too important, we just want something that's going to stick out past where our countersink would be. I'll go ahead and set this as 0.2 inches. And then we can take a look at this with our solid body shown. So in this case, there's a few ways we can go about this. If I had a closed surface, usually I use the uh, cut with surface tool. In this case, we don't have a closed surface. I can try this out. Not sure if it'll work or not. So that does work. So once again, if you choose that surface cut, you just want the direction to point inwards towards the area we want to cut out and click OK. And just like that, you can quickly extend out your countersink. Now, if that cut with surface doesn't work, you could always close off that surface. So if we run back here and show this surface, you can always create a lofted surface between these two, knit those together, and then you'll be able to cut out the inside of that surface. If that doesn't work, you can always use this thicken cut option. 
cut away some amount of the inside thickness, doesn't matter. We're going to create a separate body basically here. And then we could use a delete bodies for this remainder body if we want. Within the cut thicken, we could also have chosen which bodies to keep. In this case, this body one. And that'll cut that away. So that's a couple different ways to create that geometry. So once again, if you have ever a countersink that has this issue, you don't really need to go in and create a lot of geometry manually. You can either quickly use the surfacing tools or when it works, the delete face will create that quite quickly.